Now, today, I am going to talk to you about branding. When your business is talked about, what comes to mind? What do people think about you? What do they think about your branding? How have you branded yourself? That should be the question. How have you branded yourself so that um, if it's a unique product or service, they just know, okay, that's you. When you talk about Edu Marshall, when we talk about Edu Marshall, I have to always use it as an example. Although I have girly talk, I can talk to you about, you know, I have 21st century teaching, um, training that we do, I could talk about. Let's use Edu Marshalls, which is to do with the out of school children. How have we branded ourselves? How we branded ourselves is the fact that when you think of an organization that has to do with sorting out the children on the street, you know it's Edu Marshall. Your branding also will include your logo. What's your logo? What I envisioned when I was coming up with this was the I. We are the I of the government. We are the I of the state we're in. Our logo is the I. That includes what you should think about when you're branding yourself. Within your team, within your organization, as a leader, as the visionary person, as the person who came up with the idea, what is it your team member, what is it your colleagues know that shouldn't happen within your organization? It's all part of the branding. For example, they know that Edu Marshalls cannot, dare not take bribe. If not, you leave the organization. You'll be asked to leave the organization. Even a bottle of Coke from a parent trying to say thank you, it's not allowed. Because, of course, that eventually could be used against us and they will say they collect bribe. Because in the past, we have had such instances where head of a school thanked this group of people, this group of Edu Marshals, four of them actually, for getting back a group of boys that were used to going to the bush to initiate and to, you know, do all sorts that young wayward little ones try to do before they are straightened out. They were brought back to the school and this head offered them cold mineral, four bottles of Coke. But eventually what this man said around the communities i don't mind the other marshals that they take bribe of course that taught those within that community a lesson and the rest of us and me inclusive that you don't collect nothing so that it won't be used against you branding is very important branding is very important it puts you in a good light mm. or could put you in a situation that you do not like and once that brand is out there it is actually usually very difficult to correct it can be corrected but it takes a lot of time and i i always say you know i don't like using time that i'm supposed to be investing to do something positive to repair especially when you can avoid the damage so you avoid it from the scratch, from the onset. So an example is when we are employing. So for example, there's in a state, there's a state where we have 150, well, we soon be 250. In another state, we have 300. When these people are being interviewed, when we conduct these interviews, we let them know certain things about the organization because it is part of the branding you as the owner of your business cannot be the only brand 
who you are, the branding you want for your business has to be spread, has to be expressed or has to be seen in those within the organization. Because one slip, that near perfect branding is tarnished. It's like an image. The branding of your organization is an image that you put out there. So you need to be mindful of your branding. You need to be mindful of your branding. Very, very important. Sometimes there could be hiccups that can quickly be rectified. Do not waste a single second to rectify whatever image, whatever, uh, um, how do I say, negative stuff is being attached to your branding because that could go a long way. As we all know, we as humans are quick to pick on negatives. It takes time for positives to stick. That's why your branding is very important. Everybody within your organization need to understand and be on the same page with you with regards to your branding. Whoever is not comfortable with your branding, because the branding includes quite a lot. It's not just how you dress or how you talk to people. There's a lot involved in the branding. Which, when you have sat and thought about it and digested it properly on your own as the owner of the business, then... You should get your inner circle, that's your management team, on board so that that is extended to everybody within the team. Thank you so much for coming along with me, for helping me, for encouraging me. I am so excited. This like joke, like joke is moving. The train is moving. The train is moving, but we have a lot of space get more people on let them subscribe let them share it and ask them to subscribe thank you so very much god bless you love you and i hope you're keeping fine bye